We welcome you to week number one of the high school football season as the Santa Margarita Eagles travel to Downey to take on the Vikings. A formidable week one opponent, an incredible amount of anticipation and excitement going into this game as everything is new again. The Eagles would play fantastic defense. Alex Kylander on third down makes the stop. A great way for the Eagles defense to start their season and to say that Alex was excited is an understatement. Josiah Norwood throws his first touchdown pass as an Eagle on the other end of it, Malone Mataele. Malone would have a fantastic game. On this play, he is wide open, scoots into the end zone for the touchdown. The Eagles led seven to nothing. Jake Delaney and Joseph Canty team up on defense to once again stop the Vikings. It puts the Eagles in great field position. Good enough for Chad Magyar to stiff arm his way into the end zone for the touchdown. The Eagles led 14 to nothing. Once again, a great stiff arm by Chad. Coach Fisher in his second year as the Eagles head coach gives instructions to his offensive team. And then Magyar listens. He goes in for the score, one yard out, 21 to nothing. The Eagles are on a roll early in this game. And without a doubt, it would only get better. Magyar, he scoots in yet for another touchdown a little later on to make it 28 to nothing. Check out the lower portion of your screen, number 28, Richie Carago. He anticipates the pass and makes a clean tackle. Eagles back out on offense. Josiah Norwood calmly in the pocket, throws a strike to Mark Eaton, touchdown Eagles. It was just a perfect pass and catch by these two as the Eagles go up 35 to nothing. And for the folks that traveled up to Downey, well, the Santa Margarita fans were enjoying this one. Josiah Norwood once again with a perfect pass, this time to chase Nienat in the corner of the end zone. Josiah with yet another touchdown pass to a different receiver, Nienad right there making a great play. And yes, it was good. A little bit later on, Josiah runs out to his right. Malone Mataele, he gets it, a quick stiff arm, stays on his feet, cuts back across and scampers into the end zone as the Eagles go up 49 to nothing in the second half. Earlier in the week, we had the solar eclipse. On this night, a slice of the moon overlooks Downey's football stadium, and it would be a great fourth quarter. Here, Hunter Sefuentes throws it out, a perfect pass to Kareem Amir for a touchdown. That would make it 56 to nothing. The Eagles led in the fourth quarter. Santa Margarita would cap off the game with a yet another great defensive play. Blake Bianconi with a twisted interception as he goes up and pulls that one down. Coach Fisher and the Eagles win in week one of the high school football season by the score of 56 to nothing. After the game, I talk with Chad Magyar. Chad, great game, great way to start the season. Your thoughts? Uh, it was just a great confidence booster. Uh, we came out here, we were just looking to execute, and basically that's what we did. We just came out here, did our jobs, and we got the win. Seems like you're running with uh, some fierce uh, aggression this year. Last year, the last four or five games, you really finished strong. You've carried that over to this year. Tell me about that. Well, it's just like when you run over them, they're not going to want it. Like That's exactly what it is. If you keep running them over and over again, they're, they're not going to want it. So every single time you run over them, they're going to get like weaker and weaker every time and like tense up every time you go into them so it just makes it easier to run. Chad this is a different team you got a different look tell me about that different quarterback you don't have that big tight end uh, as you did last year but you do have some really good replacements. Oh yeah John McCartan and Jake Peters both great tight ends like good good job uh, replacing uh, Grant Calcaterra they're, they're stepping up doing a great job and then Josiah a little different than uh, Richard Wagner from last year he's scrambling a little bit more so it's causing me to run around a little bit more and it's just making everybody better and just giving us a lot better looks. See if you can hold your composure for one more question because I know you got guys bugging you. But um, your thoughts coming into this game, did you guys execute the game plan that you wanted to execute? Because it seemed like there was really no big mistakes, a couple penalties of course that you know came back on some uh, touchdowns in the end zone, including one of yours. Yeah, well, that, that's something we need to work on. We need to work on the penalties because uh, that really takes the confidence out of us when we run down, make a big run, and it gets, gets called back. But uh, I'm really proud of the younger guys who stepped up. They really did a, did a big role tonight, got a couple of touchdowns, and it just helps out the season. We're going to look good going forward. Congratulations. Thank you very much, sir. All right. Coach Fisher and his Eagles coaching staff put together a great game plan. The Eagles put up 56 points and did not give up a point. Of course, there's still room for improvement. 
Coach, a great way to start the season. Did it play out the way you thought it would? Uh, I mean, I fully expected our guys to come out here and compete. You know, they were extremely hungry. You could see it uh, in practice this week. Uh, I think the disappointing thing, uh, even though the scoreboard doesn't show it, is, uh, you know, we had two or three touchdowns called back, uh, a lot of penalties, I think 11 in the game. And to be what we want to be, uh, it's just unacceptable. You know, so we got to get that fixed. But uh, I'm super proud of uh, the way these guys have prepared all summer. Uh, you know, it's a good football team we played. Um, you know, they missed some throws. They had some guys open. Uh, I think they've won their league seven years in a row or had a share of it for seven years in a row. So we knew what they were about, and uh, I was proud of the way the guys stepped up and started the season. You got some new weapons this year, and you got some returners that are just playing great football. Yeah, uh, a lot of young guys. Uh, you, you'll see more. Nenad caught the touchdown there. Uh, you know, he's a freshman, big 6'4", wide receiver. He's been doing it all camp for us. And then, obviously, Malone and Maggie are. And, uh, it was nice to see our quarterback uh, be efficient, throwing the football tonight. Um, first start for him, uh, but I think you got a glimpse of why he was the player of the year in their league. And uh, so we're excited. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of pieces to the puzzle that got to get fixed, and uh, I think we got a chance to be, you know, pretty good. It's just a matter of uh, taking it one game at a time and and playing good defense and making smart decisions on offense. Congratulations on the win. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. The Eagles put up 629 all-purpose yards. Game two of the football season has the Eagles traveling to Loyola. We'll see you next week. I'm Paul Higgins.